everybody, it's Titanic Feet Jack and I'm back at you again with another video. Today we're going to take a look at a highly anticipated sneaker that released uh, a couple days ago or a week ago. But before we get into that, I need a couple of things from you guys. I need you to hit that like button on today's video. Also, do hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I come back with another video. Do leave a comment down below in the comment section letting me know your thoughts on the video and the sneaker itself and sub up to the channel if you haven't already now today uh this sneaker is highly anticipated like i said earlier in the video it is a collab with a musician uh with a recording artist i should say that artist did release a sneaker in the same silhouette on last year but in a different colorway and we reviewed that on the channel last year and I had to get this one because this one is actually my favorite color in the world. That's my favorite color in the world. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to show you guys the box. Here you go. You already know what it is. It's the same box from the pair of last year. Last year we had the Modellin Sunset. This year we got the Rio. Yep, this is the J Belvin Rios. It comes with this sleeve on here. We're gonna slide this sleeve off. Now here's a look at it by itself, not in the box. Plastic sleeve, sit that aside. And here is the box. Yep, you can pause the video right here if you can zoom in if you wanna read what's on the bottom of the box the box top i should see and look on the bottom of the box there you go and you do have that charcoalish looking color elephant print all the way around on the bottom and here is the box tag there you go I'm gonna read it out to you. It says Air Jordan 3 Retro SP and the color is Black Solar Flare. This is a side fitting B Nord personal pair. I believe the retail on these was $225. Show you inside the box top. Your boy had to reach out to Uncle Billy Goat. Appreciate your Uncle Billy Goat for taking care of your boy. Give me a fresh pair of these. And here's a look at that paper. You have that writing all over the paper. And it says, a sunset always reminds me a new day full of opportunity and it's coming. And they have it in a different language as well. You can take your time to read that. We got double tissue. And woo woo, yes no. Here we go, guys. We have the J. Belvin John 3 Reels. Let me know your thoughts on this sneaker. We're going to get the other one out of the box and get into the review. Here we go, guys. This is the Air John Retro 3 J. Belvin collab. This is the Rio pair. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the sneaker. When I first saw images of this uh, sneaker, I was like, yeah, I had to get them. But, uh, your boy got them in the collection. We're gonna go over them. This sneaker is made on an all black base. You can see the leather. The leather is nice, very nice. Uh, I believe my first time seeing these was on DJ Khaled's feet. Y'all remember the video when he had the bodyguards carry him so he wouldn't walk on the sand with the sneakers. But uh, I'm happy they didn't keep these exclusively to friends and family and release them to the public. But like I said, the all black base and it's kind of matted, the matted black. You do have that charcoalish looking gray uh, elephant print or cement print on the heel and the toe going around the mud guard. Looking at your midsole, polyurethane midsole is black and we have that modeling sunset colorway as it transitions from dark to light or light to dark however you're looking at the sneaker you do have a visible aerosol unit you got the black inside clear bubble and you have a hit of translucent uh orange at the very bottom of it which leads to the outsole 
This is a Jordan 3 also translucent and has that orange colorway. Nice colorway, very nice sneaker in my opinion. And we're gonna look at the heel of the sneaker. This is the right sneaker. You do have J Balvin's signature logo, the smiley face, and the lightning bolt as the eyes. And on the back of the left sneaker, there you go, you have the Nike Air. That's pretty much the only differences between the two sneakers. As we go to the medial side of the sneaker, more of that matted black on the uh, inside of the sneaker. You do have matted out uh, lace eyelets and holes right there, just like on the other side. Uh, you got your chalk coat is great, cement print, elephant print on the toe and the heel. More of that modeling sunset going on, your midsole, your part of Utheran midsole. You got a visible aerosol unit with the clear bubble, black inside, and a hit of that orange translucent on the uh, bottle. Gonna reach inside, get the tissue out, there you go. Standard tissue. Give you guys a closer look at that toolbox. Nice brand of leather. I did get a nice pair. And if you look closely, we do have the Whittle Peaks here and here. So they're starting to bring the Whittle Peaks back. You do have a nice soft tumble leather tongue. Comes with these black laces. They look or appear to be wax, but not so much. And you also get these additional laces. They come affixed to the right sneaker in the orange colorway. You know that's the pair your boy going with, hint, hint. And you do have a embroidered Jordan Jumpman logo atop the tongue. This leather is very, very soft, guys. And look at the back of the tongue tag. Here you go, it's a good look at that tag. I'll read it to you guys. This is a US size 15. The production date is November 1st, 2023 to January 29th. 2024 so about almost three months of production with these let's see if the insert come out yes it does this what the insert looks like got that Modelo sunset jaw and jump man with the lightning bolt at the bottom in the middle which represents the eye because this spells our air and you do see the side 15 tag and this is another dream cell production so uh guys let me know your thoughts on the sneaker oh yeah and you do have a black sock liner black cotton sock liner right there i missed that part don't want to miss any parts on this but uh yeah this is a fire sneaker definitely uh gonna see this sneaker again probably it's gonna be in a lot of people top countdowns of sneakers of 2024 but uh that's the sneaker pretty much and let me know your thoughts on the sneaker and your experience in trying to cop this sneaker because the way they did it on the J Belvin site with the box with the $25,000 that was hilarious <laughs> that was hilarious but uh I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. Like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feed Jack, signing out.